for us, big changes in the weather. Yeah, we're getting hit with the storms as it's approaching, getting ready for some big changes. Finally, we've been riding this heat wave, these temperatures again near record breaking or breaking records over the past several days as we've been enjoying clear skies of course getting a lot of photos both of the comet and the super moon it's the hunter's moon where as the super moon full moon here tonight it's going to be the largest in 2024 but the big question is we'll be able to see that moon where we are seeing more clouds pushing their way in at least across northern utah keeping it clear right now across the south but with these changes, we're going to see more cloud cover and a good chance of precipitation. Official high today in Salt Lake City, 81 degrees. On average, we should be in the mid 60s. Again, we didn't get up to record breaking or record tying territory, but with another day in the 80s, this is the last one probably for 2024. Can't ever say never, but uh, looking ahead, as you know, typically as we get into October, it's difficult, especially the end, getting up into the 80s, very difficult where we don't see record breaking temperatures in that range. But as we can see right now in Salt Lake City, we're mild, warm winds, well, still breezy out there. We've got winds in Ogden out of the southeast at 20 miles per hour, looking at winds in Provo, just about 10 miles per hour. Now with this storm moving in, it's gonna be bringing in two cold fronts, one hitting tonight, and then the next one hitting tomorrow night through Friday morning. The one that hits on the uh, Thursday night through Friday morning, bringing that cold air. We've got winter storm warnings in effect for the mountains. The snow will be falling for tomorrow and then again into Friday morning. We're looking at the Wasatch Mountains south of I-80, Western Uinta Mountains, the Central and Southern Mountains. As we look in elevation, some areas for sure getting a foot of snow and in other places like the Cottonwood Canyons or Western Uinta Mountains, we're talking one to two feet of snow. Indications where as we look at the computer models showing that in blue, that confirms we're about a foot there. As you see in those areas where you get that little bit of purple or pink, 12 to 18 inches, so a good storm for the mountains. Will we see snow in the valleys? Uh, for most spots, we won't see that. But for the benches, we could be seeing a mixture of rain and snow, especially as we go into Friday morning. Now, in addition, cold temperatures in the overnight hours. Friday, Saturday morning, freeze watch, as it looks like it'll be in place, probably changing over into a freeze warning. Areas such as Brigham City, Tremont, and then turning towards Nephi, down through Manti, Ephraim, Cedar City, Delta, Fillmore. You're getting into the mix with those very cold temperatures winds as it was blustery today winds do calm down just a bit here in the overnight hours tomorrow the bigger focus towards southern and southeastern utah where we can see wind gusts upward x upwards i should say of 35 miles per hour then the next cold front moves in tomorrow night through uh, Friday morning. That brings some blustery conditions across western and southwestern Utah. So we're going to see winds continuing on here for the next couple of days. High pressure moving on. We bring in this trough of low pressure. It's pulling in some cold air. It moves right across the state. So it's bringing in those uh, chilly temperatures and that instability. So we're going to keep that precipitation going both Thursday and Friday. But for southern Utah, you're going to still delay it just a bit where you get into the action come tomorrow. Then we bring back some warmer temperatures weekend into next week. There's the two fronts. Here we go with it as we're going to see its impact starting tomorrow. So for your morning commute, it's going to be rainy temperatures in the 50s. So you have to give yourself some extra time for tomorrow morning's commute and also on Friday morning's commute where we could be looking at slushy conditions traveling through the canyons. Uh, tomorrow's in the 60s, 70s through central Utah. That colder air not quite settling in as quick across southern Utah. It takes an extra day where you go from 80s to 50s. You've got the rain on Friday lingering into Saturday. Then you're clearing out and warming back up mid 70s to 80s next week. Northern Utah, it's rain, even a chance of thunderstorms. Mixture of rain and snow Friday. Then early Saturday morning, some rain, 50s to 60s, warming back up into the 70s. So that fall weather will be returning, but getting a hint of winter here for the next couple of days.